Okay, so this is more of a little bit of an advanced tape job. This is gonna offer a little bit more support than just the figure eights. This is a figure eight with heel locks. This would be for someone where they're able to weight bear. It's kind of more of a fresher sprain, so they might still have a little bit of swelling, but I'm getting them to do some weight bearing training, so I need a little bit of movement at the ankle. Um, and again, it's a nice alternative, especially for dancers, because we can't really wear ankle braces on stage and they don't really fit well in dance shoes. So this is my go-to, again, if I need a little bit of extra support, but again, not as stiff as say a classic full white tape job, okay? So it starts the same as the classic. We have a strip across the talocrural joint or the front of the ankle joint, two stirrups, again, pulling up and biasing the um, either the inside or the outside of the ankle, dependent on which way they sprained it. And then we're gonna start with our figure eight and heel lock combo. So come a little bit closer here, just so you can get a good look. I'm gonna go nice and slow. It can get a little confusing. So again, I'm gonna rip it just like I did, and I'm gonna start as if I'm doing a figure eight. So again, if we pretend Jada has an outside ankle sprain, we're gonna start on the outside of the ankle, just above the ankle bone. I'm gonna come down and around. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. I'm gonna pull down on an angle, so I almost cut around the back of the heel. That's my first heel lock. I'm gonna come around, and this is kind of where we reference that figure eight again, so it should cross in the center of the ankle joint. I'm gonna come down, and this is my second heel lock. So again, I'm angling on the inside now, cutting around the back of the heel and then I come around to the front. Now I can do a figure eight to finish if I have enough tape. So I'm gonna go down, around the inside, pulling up a little bit on the outside, crossing in the front, so there's my true figure eight. And because I have so much left, I'm just gonna gently kind of pull it around, again, following kind of a, a small diagonal. And then I just finish it there. I'm gonna give that a little rub. And so that's kind of my more supportive. You see we get a lot of um, support in through the back of the heel. Notice there's no wrinkles and there's no little windows where skin is showing, okay? That's crucial to prevent any blistering or irritation. Also just make sure that when you come around at the back of the heel, we have the Achilles here. You don't totally want to reef on the tape because I have had students, if you pull too much, this will kind of get irritated. And if it is too tight, you can just tell your student, just kind of make a little slip with, the, with some scissors. So they don't have to take off the whole thing, but just kind of make a slit where they find they're having any pressure points. Then you don't have to redo the whole thing. So that's my more advanced tape job. Now, if they have what's called a high ankle sprain, Okay, so a little bit of anatomy here. If we have a regular ankle sprain, we have ligaments or little seat belts that kind of hold the bones in place on the outside of the ankle and also the inside, okay? And again, if it's an outside ankle sprain, they would have gone kind of in like that, stretch the outside ligaments. So then we're gonna pull up more on the outside for the tape. If they have an inside ankle sprain, less common, but it does happen. They're kind of going to torque the foot in like that. It's going to stretch the inside seat belts. So we need a little bit more support to kind of lift the arch to support the healing of those ligaments. Now a high ankle sprain. You can have either a low ankle sprain, okay, so uh, stretching of the ligaments. The thing that makes it different if it's a high ankle sprain, and these are nasty to treat. They take a long time and you really have to make sure that you're diligent about doing your modifications and your home program. But there is a little ligament in here that attaches the fib and the tib, the tibia bone. And so if you maybe go over so much, you roll it so much, you actually stretch that ligament as well. If this ligament is stretched and affected, it's called a high ankle sprain. And so that's where we need a little extra something to add onto this tape job to again help support the tibia and the fibula now a little bit higher up. So the mechanics of the foot, when you go to walk or you go to weight bear, these two bones splay a little bit as we weight bear. They need to for proper foot mechanics. 
Now, in a high ankle sprain, if that seat belt holding them together is loose, they're gonna splay more than they should. And that's when we get kind of additional pain. Um, it takes a while, it's a little bit more of a complex type of sprain to heal. So we need to try to supplement that stretched ligament with a little extra something something on the tape job, okay? So I would do my figure eights and heel lock for a high ankle sprain. But the last piece that I would add is I'm gonna take a strip about five squares, rip it in the middle, and I'm gonna kind of wrap it around just above where the ankle bone is, especially if I didn't have enough tape coming up all the way here. I'm just gonna do that to cover any skin showing to prep for this final piece. This is where you need the white tape. So I'm gonna rip just enough to kind of go around her ankle once, maybe twice. And I'm gonna just lay it on. So I don't wanna pull on this at all. I just kind of do enough to overlap it, lay it on. You could do another strip if you wanted. But what this is doing, if you think about this, it's called an ankle mortise, kind of that platform is it's just kind of holding these two together just enough so that when she weight bears it's not going to splay more than it should okay and it's going to help support the healing of this ligament here in your classic high ankle sprain okay so again you only need the more teeth taping if it's a high ankle sprain if it's just a regular fresh sprain i would recommend the stirrups figure eight and heel lock okay that's your ankle tape